It is a privilege to be joined on the summit today by Brad Griffin, who is the head football coach for the Southwestern Mound Builders. Coach, first, congratulations on making it into the field of 20 there in the playoffs in the NAI Football Championship Series. But I want to say also congratulations on a big win. I mean, it turns out it's a win number 10 for the season, 41-17 over McPherson. Talk about Saturday's game. Yes, sir. No, I appreciate it. Appreciate you having having us on and the coverage and all that. So, um, yeah, exciting times right now. And it was a great win Saturday to to give us an opportunity to get in the playoffs. And, um, you know, felt like we've had a, a, a great resume and we've played good football all year. So uh, I know our kids and uh, all of us are excited to to get a chance to play some more football. Coach, it's an at-large bid, uh, ten and one for the regular season. But it, you know, it's one of those things that, and even the one loss was so close. I mean, a blocked field goal, return for a touchdown, things that you just don't ever see. Uh, a walk off like that, that that was amazing, just in and of itself. Were you all nervous at at any point on Sunday, waiting for the selection show? You and the staff, knowing that you know you just might not get in. It's not always the case that uh, even with a, a record like yours, that you're going to find a way in. No, absolutely. Um, yeah, I would say there was, um, you know, when you look at it and you start analyzing a little bit, you wake up and and see, you know, we knew where we were nationally being ranked. And so that, that um, you know, we weren't really getting, I guess, what we felt like we deserved with, with having the record that we've had and doing some of the things that we did throughout the year. But yeah, so there was definitely uh, some, some nerves there and, um, you know, not, not quite sure knowing what was going to happen. Well, congratulations again for making it into the field. I want to talk about that a little bit later on, but I still want to go over that game on Saturday. It was a big win. And McPherson, a quality program, the Kessinger division in the last couple of years has just been so phenomenal, so much talent uh, pretty much across the board. And usually I'll talk about the offense first, but your defense of late has just been fantastic. And Corey McCoy in particular, three touchdowns, a 40-plus yard pick six along the way. Four interceptions are – I said three touchdowns. Three interceptions, four interceptions on a hole as the defense on Saturday. And this is following a five-interception week the week before. Talk about the defense. Yeah, no, those guys have just been um, – you know, they're really bought into each other and – you know, having fun playing on Saturdays. I mean, do a lot of work throughout the week to prepare themselves. And uh, we've had, um, I believe we've been at uh, 14 interceptions in our last three games. So it's been been crazy, you know, um, guys just swarming around and making plays and uh, a testament to Coach Strong and getting those guys prepared. And, um, you know, those guys have just been having a lot of fun. And, you know, Saturday we were able to make some big plays and um, it was, you know, uh, in a big game, obviously some – um, you know, made a difference in, you know, being able to come home with a victory. We're speaking now with Brad Griffin, who's the head football coach for the Southwestern Mound Builders. And by the way, also now the winningest football coach in Mound Builders history, 64 wins. And I like the way the graphic shows on social media, Coach, 64 and counting. So uh, they're excited and in, 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 uh, in Winfield and, and not ready for you to stop winning football games there as well. I said I would talk about the offense. Usually it's first, but the defense has done so well. But I don't know that I get through uh, an opportunity to visit with you when we don't talk about Braden Howell, another fantastic game. 75% completion percentage on Saturday, two passing touchdowns, two rushing touchdowns, just another great game for him. Yeah, no, Braden's just been phenomenal all year. I mean, he, you know, he's going into this week leading the country in total touchdowns and you know, had a, a great game on Saturday, and um, I think he's, um, you know, been a huge difference maker for us, obviously, on offense. If your quarterback's playing well at any level, you have an opportunity to win games, and, um, you know, those guys have rallied around him um, and, and have all played real fo real good football around those guys, and um, Braden's obviously been a great leader there and, um, you know, just phenomenal year for him. You've made it through the regular season now. Obviously, more football still to be played. But look at this team now. Is there anything that stands out to you? What What do you see when you see the 2024 version of the Mound Builders? Yeah, I mean, I honestly, like uh, we talked about it last night in our, our meeting before um, before the selection show. I mean, we've just got a bunch of dudes that have bought into each other, and they they're playing for each other. You know, that's you know, I don't know if we're we always pass the eye test. Obviously, we got some good players, but uh, we have a bunch of guys that really just play hard and 
you know, they're blue collar and they're tough. And, um, you know, regardless of who we're going to play and they're, they're going to line up and, and give great effort. And um, I think that's just kind of what we built our program around. So, um, yeah, I would say that stands out to me more than anything else that they really truly care about each other. And um, I think that makes a difference for us on Saturdays. Well, another Saturday to be played for sure in the first round of the NAI Football Championship Series. You're going to be taking on St. Francis of Indiana and getting to host that game as well. Noon Central kickoff for the contest. Coach, can you give us just a, a brief preview of what we might be able to see on Saturday? Yeah, you bet. Um, well, traditionally, um, a great program. St. Francis has won a couple national championships. I, I've been fortunate um to to coach against these guys when i was at william penn as a defense coordinator we we're in the mid-states and um you know we had some some good games towards the end when we first got in it st francis was very dominant my last year in 2014 we actually went for two um, and got it and we were able to beat them in 2014 and so uh coach donnelly that they're, they're just coached well they're very very big um up front you know we we played a marion team a couple years ago in the playoffs probably very similar, a ginormous up front on both sides of the ball. Their, their quarterback's phenomenal. And so we'll have to play really good football on both sides, um, you know, to, to come out of this thing, um, you know, with a win. But, you know, we got a great football team coming into town and um, our guys will be excited and we're going to play hard and, and see what happens. All right. Southwestern Mound Builders in the playoffs, 10-1 and one record so far this season. And, and congratulations to the team, Coach, not only for the 10 wins, it's nice to get double figures in the win column, but also for making the playoffs this year and just a testament to the season that this team has had, the success this team has had, and, and what uh, you and your staff have been able to do. And we appreciate you taking some time with us today here on the Summit, sir. No, I appreciate it. And thanks again. appreciate the coverage and the support. <laughs> 